Hi, this is Jerry Gill from Gill Plumbing and Heating, and we're going to talk today about Furnox boiler treatment. And what Furnox is, is a, is a chemical that gets put into a hot water heating system, and it protects the metal against uh, corrosion. It's generally caused by putting two different metals together. And F1 is the product, the Furnox F1. Now this is two jars and there is a three quarter inch copper coupling in each one along with three steel nails. Now for over a year they've been sitting in in these jars. The one on the left has been treated with Furnox and the one on the right has not. It's just water in there. Now when I take these and shake them up nothing really happens with the one that has the Furnox in there. As you can see the nails actually still look pretty darn good. The only thing floating around in there is the paper from the price tag that was on that coupling. Now we take the one that just has water in it and was not treated with Furnox and there you go. That's what Furnox does for you protects the metals and keeps them from corroding. Well worth the investment. This is F1 Furnox Central Heating Boiler Protector. And these are the express cylinders. Now these are cool because you can hook these up to the, to the boiler and it's got um, a gas charge and a bladder that pushes the, the chemical into the system so that uh, you know, you don't have to actually drain it down or, or you know, you just hook it up to a, a boiler drain and pump it in. Now, this is for hot water heating systems. And this is some tremendous stuff for protecting the metals against corrosion, especially when you have dissimilar metals. And you're probably going to have dissimilar metals. And uh, you can't get an easier way to put it in the system. It used to be you have to pour it in somehow find an opening and, and pour it in which was <laughs> yeah rather difficult at times um but but this this particular method of being able to install it into the system is just fantastic in these cans okay what we're going to be doing here is injecting the furnox into my boiler system hooked it to the drain valve and uh, now we're just going to inject it. Okay. Close that down and that's that. It's installed. And then we'll test it, we'll circulate it and test it with a test strip. When installing the Furnox into the boiler system, you know, when you put it in, as you've seen from the video, um, it doesn't really make any noise. It's not like an aerosol can noise or anything. But, you know, and then you're wondering, did it actually, did anything happen? Did it go in? Well, I can tell you if you have two cans, when you've got done putting a can in, you can hold, I mean, it's like, like there's no weight to this thing at all. So you definitely will know compared to a full can that you, you actually injected something in there. You will know. Okay, now we're gonna take a, a water sample and we're gonna test the amount of Furnox that's in the boiler system and ensure it's an adequate level. And on my system, we'll just come over here Hook up. And steal a sample of water out of the boiler. We don't need much.
Okay, and now we do the litmus test, and we use these uh, little litmus test strips provide you know that you can get from Fernox specifically for testing the uh, amount of a boiler chemical in the boiler system. And we're going to take it. Very simple test. You stick it in the water for five seconds, and then. Shake it off. You're supposed to wait 60 seconds, but I've already done this test with a different test strip. And then you compare the color, and you can see how the dark blue becomes light blue. And it's that light blue that, uh, I don't know if it shows up too well in there, but the light blue indicates that we're okay. And then we have the proper amount in there. And it's a much darker blue to start with. And that's all there is to testing the quantity. And then you know you're protected. And then your boiler systems can be protected against uh, corrosion.